What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? You see this big smile? This big smile is because I'm about to throw it out in my kitchen. Y'all, I have the most amazing chicken recipe. It's something new, it's different. You know, with chicken, you do so many things with it. You fry it, you can boil it, you can bake it, you can barbecue it, you can do all of this. I'm doing a honey spice roasted chicken. That's a mouthful. Maybe I'll change the name. But it's got, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be spicy, and we're gonna roast this baby in the oven. Y'all stay with me. I'm gonna throw these ingredients together in just a second and share the entire recipe with you. Okay, y'all, I got all my ingredients. Um, I'm adding a little something. I've done this before, but uh, I'm doing it a little different. I've got me three uh, large red potatoes, one onion, I've got some honey, I've got some um, thyme sprigs right here, carrots, um, my seasoning, base seasoning. I have uh, smoked paprika, cinnamon, lemon pepper, and I also have my, um, it's a little spicy Cajun seasoning, but you can always get any store-bought seasoning and, and taste it with your hand. And if it's not spicy enough, add your little cayenne pepper and stir it in and you're good to go. I got my whole bird sitting over here. It's been uh, rinsed clean. I got the giblets out and um, I, I, I dried it off because I always like to dry it off. So first thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and mix my um, my seasonings. So I wanna just whisk these all together, just like so. Then we get them all mixed up. I'm gonna add my honey to my mixture. And what we are creating is a glaze. I'm gonna get all this honey out. And uh, then we're gonna go with some olive oil. It's a couple of tablespoons. And then I'm gonna hit it with just a dash of more salt and just uh, not much pepper, but some pepper. I don't want it too hot. And then we're just gonna mix this in. It's gonna create a nice glaze. If it's too thick, like mine right now is, you can always just add a little more olive oil to loosen it up. And I'm gonna get a brush and we're gonna use this as a to brush it on. So, mm -hmm. it's like a nice little paste. But you gotta really incorporate it when you got honey and oil. Really give it a good stir. Okay, and I'll probably stir that again in just a bit. I'm gonna sit that to the side. Then um, I'm just going to take my carrots and I'm gonna cut them really big, like so. And then I'm a big to pay. Uh, potato guy, so I love, um, I think, I'm a, I'm a quarter. So we got those. And then what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna slice my lemon. It's nice medium sized slices. Okay. 
step away, y'all. I, I forgot to preheat my oven. So I got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. So the first thing we want to do is I've got a roasting pan here. And what I like to do is just line my potatoes along the edges. They gotta go on the edges because I gotta get the rack back in. And then come across with my carrots. Let me put that one there. This one back here. I will, uh, one, one I, I didn't get right here. Drizzle with a little olive oil. Season with a little salt and pepper. The, the, you're gonna get extra flavor, so I'm not seasoning the vegetables a lot because of the um, chicken roasting. But you also are creating roasted vegetables at the same time. And so then, tricky here. Can I get this rack in here? Ooh, Lord have mercy. I didn't have it right. Let's just get these out a little bit. Like and you don't, you, you know, I use a rack, but you can use a, a baking sheet or, um, you know, whatever you have, you know. If you cooks in the kitchen, you'll, you'll figure that out. So we sit it down in there. So she's sitting. Then we're going to um, take our chicken and sit her right in there like that. And we're just going to pack the lemons. the time right in there. This just adds a lot more flavor. It goes in there like that. And I don't waste nothing, y'all. A little lemon juice on top. Okay, now that we have that, we are always uh, to get a good uh, seasoning on my any of my chicken I, I take my fingers and go right under the skin just around like that All right. and then I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash now that we have that she's just about ready I'm going to Throw some seasonings across the top. Pepper. Like so. This is a pretty big bird. And salt. Like so. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this finger so I'm not, put a little salt in there, a little pepper, and then work that in there. Oh, as far up as you can go without tearing the skin. That breast needs to really be seasoned. Do that. Let me cut her back. If you wanted to, you could um, you could um, use some uh, twine and tie the legs. Uh, that keeps it from kind of falling apart and all of that. But we're just gonna go with it like it is. Now I'm gonna take my glaze and I'm only gonna use about half of it. And I'm just gonna take me a nice little dab because I wanna save reserve some for after. So just like that. Then I'll put my hands back to work. And we're just gonna massage this all in all over. You want to get the drumsticks um, inside the cavity. All in there with your seasoning. And you just want to rub her all the way down. It's a, it's a thick kind of glaze. And so you truly want to get this all over. Take my hand and lift it up and rub some on the bottom. I can smell the honey. 
really want to get that breast because that's where it's the hardest to penetrate. And quite frankly, a, 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 a real tip is to, you could do this the night before and put it in the fridge and really allow those, all of these spices, the cinnamon and the smoked paprika to marry in to the meat. Anything that you can season the night before and put in the fridge is um, your best option. So we got her all tight now, y'all. I am gonna roast her um, at 350 degrees. I would say it may take two hours. It depends on your, your oven and the heat intensity of your oven. Um, I'm not going to uh, cover it, which a lot of times when I do chicken, I cover it because with all of the honey and everything, it's going to keep it protected. And so I'm going to keep an eye on it um, and, and an eye on my oven to make sure that it doesn't uh, scorch or anything like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm dropping the rack down to the next to the last rack so it can take its time and cook slowly. But at the end of the day, you want to always have you one of those digital thermometers um, when you're trying to check to see if it's done, especially when you're cooking a turkey or a chicken or something this big. And once it reaches 165 degrees, then you know it's done. <coughs> I gotta cut that and just sneeze. Yeah. Look a here, look a here. This big baby is done, y'all. Um, it cooked a little longer than normal uh, because of the size of the chicken. Oh, gosh, I don't know if I've ever seen a chicken this big. So it roasted for about two hours. Um, about an hour and a half into cooking, I took the rest of my spice honey glaze and glazed it. So when you see the little dark spots, it's really not burned at all. It's just the uh, um, cinnamon and honey that's kind of cooked and baked in. Um, this baby is absolutely gorgeous. Super simple, everything is in the pot. Um, when we get ready to serve it, we'll put it out on a platter bring our roasted vegetables out, maybe throw in a salad, and you'll be basically good to go. Uh, it's another way of doing chicken. Like I said, you could always um, um, tie your, your drumsticks if you like, but I like them open so that you get a good old, good even cook. Uh, but it's something that you can eat on for several days, make sandwiches out of, cut some of it up for um, a dinner. Um, but when you got one this size, of course, we're gonna have some leftovers. Okay, y'all, so she is done. Another great, delicious meal. Thank you guys for subscribing and following me on my YouTube channel, Pat Neely BBQ King. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, leave your comments. I do read the comments and will comment back. Um, and until next time that I create another great dish, in just a few seconds, I'm gonna set this baby on the table and me and the family are gonna sit down and eat and enjoy.